Thank you for tuning in to my channel, Mini Movement Man. This is Night Moves, restorative movement techniques. Tonight we're going to focus on hollow arms as well as myofascial release. Okay, so up first we have our hollow arm technique. Basically what you're trying to do is you're trying to decalcify your arms. You're trying to move all of your joints, keeping everything nice and loose. You can see how everything is affected. I'm simply trying to swivel my hips and shoulders back and forth. This creates movement throughout my entire body. Once again, it looks really silly, but this is just really effective just to get some general use it or lose it movement into your daily practice. Now I'm going into these arm circles. If you have any bursitis in the shoulder or shoulder impingement, anything of this nature, I would suggest not to do movements like this. But if not, please proceed at your own risk. I am not a doctor. With that being said though, these movements truly do help loosen the entire body up. I'm showing here how my foot has to pivot as this allows my body to do this figure eight pattern. Just the general movement from our everyday lives is enough to make our bodies become stiff and sore. Our muscles can then begin to store up tension within them. What we need to do is we need to work out this tension that is stored in our muscles from our daily activities. So we use the foam roller and we try to perform myofascial release or smushing technique. I actually read about this from the book Becoming a Supple Leopard. You'll see when I find a spot that has tension in my muscle, I flex the leg that I'm rolling. After I do that, I straighten the leg out, then I try to find another spot. There it is, I'm flexing the leg again. That is the face. If you make that face, that means that you are probably doing this correctly. It's not gonna feel good to work out the tension within your muscle fibers. So I find with clients, the hardest thing is just learning how to maneuver your body on the foam roller. So you'll see here how I have my main support arm. My opposite arm is just off to the side. As far as your legs go, obviously one leg is on the foam roller. The other leg should be active. That means that you're going to use that leg to help maneuver yourself along. Give these techniques a try. Let me know how it goes. As always, I want everybody to be well and stay safe. This is Mini Movement Man saying, peace.